Welcome again. Right now we're at 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verses 15 through 23. We're continuing from last time. If you haven't listened to the last session, I encourage you to go do so because this is just continuing right on from there. Let's start at verse 15. But I have used none of these things, and I don't write these things that it may be done so in my case. For I would rather die than that anyone should make my boasting void. For if I preach the good news, I have nothing to boast about, for necessity is laid on me. Paul saying basically, it's his duty. But woe is to me if I don't preach the good news. For if I do this of my own will, I have reward. But if not of my will, I have a stewardship entrusted to me. What then is my reward? That when I preach the good news, I may present the good news of Christ without charge so as not to abuse my authority in the good news. For though I was free from all, I brought myself under bondage to all, that I might gain the more. To the Jews I became a Jew, that I might gain the Jews. To those who were under the law, as under the law, that I might gain those who were under the law. Quick side note here, the term under the law is so misunderstood anymore. If you are obeying the law, then you are not under the law. If you are disobeying the law and you are being punished by it, then yes, you are under the law. So in order to come out from the punishment under the law, you got to obey the law, and then you'll be blessed by the law. Put it this way. One time I had a meeting and I asked everybody in attendance, I said, who here is under the weather? Nobody raised their hands. So I said, well, I guess we're all in space then, right? I mean, the weather doesn't have power over us anymore. It, the weather doesn't affect us anymore. Just because you say you're not under the weather doesn't mean that you don't get rained on when you go outside when it's raining. It doesn't mean that you don't feel the wind when on a windy day. It just means that you are not experiencing the negative effects of the weather, okay? In the same way, when you are under the law, you are experiencing the negative effects, so to speak, of the law because if you disobey it, you are under the law. If you don't disobey it, if you obey it, as many did, then you are not under the law. You are under blessing. So in that sense, Jesus came to take us out from under the law by causing us to obey the law. He died not to make a bunch of rebels that are sinful. He died to make us holy. He died to break the chains of sin over our lives. Therefore, we don't sin as the world sins. We are holy and we are not under the law if we do not transgress against the law. So to those who were under the law, to those who were breaking God's law and disobeying God, Paul became as one who was like that. Not that he was disobedient, but that he related to them. He came down to their level. That I might gain those who are under the law. To those who are without the law, as without the law, not being without law toward God, but under law toward Christ. See, Paul made it very clear here when he said, not under the law, doesn't mean that you don't go by the law. And by the way, another footnote here, I know a lot of people say, you know, we don't go by the law of Moses now, we go by the law of Christ. That is the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Christ, Jesus, is the Word of God in the flesh. He is the human form of the Word of God. He is the law, the Torah, in human form. The law of Christ is the law of Moses. It is absolutely scripturally impossible that Jesus came to do away with the law of Moses and replaced it with the law of Christ. If he did so, God is a liar and Jesus is a sinner because God said over and over again to Moshe, this is eternal. This is forever to all generations without end. And then at the end, God made it very clear. You shall not, a command from God, you shall not add to this law or take away from this law. If Jesus added to it or if he took anything away from it, then he is a sinner and not a savior. Big problem for you guys who believe that we go by the law of Christ and not the law of Moses. 
Jesus is the personification of the law of Moses. The more you become Christ-like, the more you embody Torah because Jesus is the embodiment of Torah. He is the Word. The Torah is the Word. He is Torah in the flesh. There's no difference between the law of Moses, the law of Noah, the law of Abraham, the law of David, or whatever other law in the scriptures. If it comes from God, it's the law of God, period. And again, verse 21, Paul says, to those who are without the law as without the law, not being without law toward God, but under law toward Christ, that I might win those who are without law. To the weak I became weak, that I may gain the weak. I have become all things to all men, that I may by all means save some. Now I do this for the sake of the good news, that I may be a joint partaker of it. In other words, Paul bends over backwards that he may save some from this corrupt generation. Seek God with all your heart, and if you do, you will find him. What a glorious thing that is. Call upon him, and he will show you great and mighty things. He'll surprise you. Love you guys.